Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today I'm going to be playing Soul King. Now, Soul King is a game I started playing way back then, around the time I started playing Dragon Blades. This is a fairly old game, and I wanted to revisit it just to see how it's doing now. So, let's get into it, see how it is. I was able to log into my old account, and yeah. Nope, I'm good. Uh, let's grab some rewards. Still looks the same on layout wise. And do not think that I spend money on this game because you can actually earn VIP by doing missions. Yep. Just do all your dailies and you just earn VIP. It's, it's that simple. You don't have to actually spend money on the game. That's why I wish a lot more games did. Alright, now spin the wheel. Oh, oh. Aw, oh, wow. You could have gave me that last one. Got Grims here waiting for me. Got a welcome back prize is going on. So tomorrow when I log in, I can get these rewards. The only good thing out of this rewards I see are these two, and that's it. Let me just grab these. So this game's gameplay is kind of straightforward. It is an auto battle, if you guys are wondering. But it's kind of different-ish. Let me just grab these and I'll show you guys. Uh, what team did I last leave off with? This is the real question here. Uh, let's go to hard. Did I ever finish hard difficulty? Yes, I did. What about legendary? Yes, I finished that one. So I'm in here now. Oh god, I remember I had a lot of things then. Uh, so here's all the characters I had. <laughs> I don't remember who I like put time and work into right now though. I know I put time into you. I definitely put time into her. I made sure. She's not a leader though. None of these guys are leader. Uh who was it? Why do I have you in here? I don't think I need two defenders though. Uh, well, I can I can go with this. Yeah, he was always pretty decent. All right, so pretty much the straightforwardness of the game is that you have two types of energy. One is magical, and one is well, one is mana, and one is energy. So, this costs one energy, and this costs one mana. And you use those skills by the number of energy you have. Oh dear god. Well, that, that needs healing. All right, next. I'm gonna go for it. You know, get rid of them. Now I'm gonna shield everyone. And I'm gonna use this. Now we only have her left and I'm gonna Wait for my cooldowns. Uh, game actually brings back memories. I wonder what new characters they have since I left. Not that I can get them, to be honest. Alright, everybody seems to be alive right now. 
hopefully they wait off a little bit more so I can get this cooldown ready. Alright, there we go. All my cooldowns are over with. So now I can do this. And this. And this to get rid of a few of them. Really? Stop summoning things back. They don't need to be summoned. I'm pretty sure with that I can nearly kill. Alright, there we go. We finally killed him. I hate him so much. Slow him down a little bit. And let's poison. And let's take a little bit of that defense down. Goodbye. I remember that being a lot harder. Guess not anymore. Those is pretty much XP. Oh wait, no, don't go to the next area. Whoop, rip. Oh, I guess we're doing another game. Wait, it's not all that bad. Oh my god, it's these guys. This could be... Quite something. Because these guys have attack that attacks all. The little orc is in the back. Let's not have that. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Blizzard. And I don't want to deal with it. He needs to die, please. End him. Oh my god, another layer of them? Hmm. I'm about to weaken them. Because this is going to take a while. And she's in the back of the line. Attacking everyone. And let's stop the rest of that. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Could you not? Jeez, they attacked all the back line. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to win this. But then again, I have a really retarded tank. Oh, thanks for putting me on this side. Oh, okay, never mind. So this skill, I'm pretty sure it heals me. Yep. If I was to get more of her, I'd be able to do way more things. But I'm pretty sure she's a myth like rank. So there's quite a bit of like different ranks. I believe it's still the same where there's nobles, uncommon, rare, legendary, and myth. Myth being the highest. Please stay poisoned. I should be able to kill. That's what I'm thinking. At least the harpies. Oh no, times damage. Oh god, I forgot about that. There is a timer. Yeah, I should be able to kill. Can we not? 
Oh, Jesus. Well, guys, welcome to Soul King. I probably shouldn't have used that. I probably should have just waited. I would have had plenty of more to use. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the cooldown, and I'll be able to take out the harpies. Come on. Be nice if I could actually use that. Thank you. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Like she's a powerful tank, but she can't really do much alone. Especially since I don't have her skills ranked up. If I had her skills ranked up, this would be like so much easier. Alright, let's let's see. Uh Codex. They still got the same characters for light. I can see that. As for darks. Yep, they still got the same characters. Ah, if I could get more of her, I'll be happy. Well, actually, I can't even say they got the same lights. I didn't even check the rest of them. Yep, pretty much the same lights. But they didn't change anything there. But they did make Transcendent Heroes, so I mean... They could be working on those. Nope. Nothing new in there. Anything new here? And no. What about water? Nope, he's still by himself. Wow, it's been like... How many... <laughs> I think a year? Wow, they've been working on fire the most, if anything. Why is that? Looks like fire is literally getting all the love. Especially all the myth love, at least. But the transcendence is pretty much what everybody should be going for. So, here's the thing. There are some characters with the S, and those are Soul Kings. Soul Kings are the strongest units in the game, technically. And they also have a leader skill. So... These are all the Soul Kings in the game. The only, the only characters with pretty much um, leader skills. You have to have at least one of them to have like a leader skill. And plus you do get up quite often. And they also have quests that you can do for extra rewards. Which is actually pretty, pretty nice of them. I don't think I can summon any. Actually, I can. I can summon this for free. I don't think I'm going to get anything good, but you know, I can summon those for free. I've just been saving up all this just to get to here. There's honestly no point in me doing to like using this right now. Especially when I can save up all those points just for other things. My dead guild that I don't really touch. I think I locked it. I hope, hopefully I locked it because I don't want anyone joining here. I don't think there's a way to lock your guilds, actually. Nope, oh, anyone who joins is just joining. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'll leave. Uh, what else? The restaurant is pretty much where you can get XP items. Pretty straightforward. And you can rush them with gold. So I have a lot of gold, I'll just rush it. Most people just sit here and rush this the whole time. Because once you get to a certain point in like gold or level, you don't really need all these. All the smaller ones, you would just keep rushing the uh, butter roasted meat and that's it. Pirate Slayer is just a fight for like gold and that's it. Nothing extremely special. 
pretty sure there was a different one. Yeah, it was um Siege that had like a different shot from everyone. There has never been like guarantee of getting like of getting like a myth from this, so do be careful when you try and get that. Just because it shows like a myth yellow does not mean you're going to actually get it. I mean, you have a better chance of getting one, but you also have a really good chance of getting the legendary. As for that, I... Eh. I don't think I would get that. I think I would save up for the legendary selector, if anything. we are just go ahead and grab all this. Alright, people have been using it. Let's see the latest person that has been on. This person's been on for like the last four days. Everybody else is... Jeez. So I haven't played this game in a year, apparently. That's, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. PvP is pretty much straightforward as well. It's nothing like extremely special. But it's actually pretty fun. Uh, what do I want to bring? I'll definitely bring you. And I'll bring you. I know he's not worked on. But I do want to still try him inside of a battle. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to take you out. Uh, where is he? Hmm. Oh yeah, he's cursed because there's certain like there's certain like days where it would just have like this random effect to where well it doesn't really say what's today's effect. Or did I miss it? Well, let's just say all Earth units are cursed, so that means they get a negative 20% of their stats, I believe? At least I think that's what it last was. So I'm gonna take her as a leader instead. Or should I just be like, screw it, and go with this? Hmm, considering everybody's... has... energy? Hmm... That's a cup. That's a really tough call for me. Or I could do this. I got two defenders. But I'm going to say screw that and have her because she's really strong in PvP. And just go for it. If anything, I want to get her meteor off as quick as possible, like always. Like, her meteor skill is kind of destructive, last I checked. Unless I go up against somebody super strong. Really hope it does not screen freeze here. Because that's what it's looking like right now. Alright, so we're probably in. Well, actually, I don't have to use it here. I can use that instead. Or he can use that and just <laughs> annihilate all of them. I mean, we are pretty low on a rank since we are returning. We used to be a lot higher. But that has changed over the years. I'm still master though. He still wants to use light drop of everything. It is auto though. I don't know why I'm trying to click things. All this is auto battle. All you gotta do is just hope that your characters use the right skills and hope that it goes through. This is the combo I always like to carry is um is the sorceress and um I think is I can't remember his name. Leon. Cause they're like a really good combo because of her like two two mana start off. 
Ah, oh, Jesus. Nice. I went up against the transcended, um, what's his name? God, I have not played in a long time to the point where I've forgotten the character's names. Edward. That's who I was fighting up against, the transcended Edward. Yeah, it did not go well. <laughs> Trust me on this. Okay, I am ready. Leonu's always been good for like PvP. No way. Just because of his his third no, his second skill. But the game's pretty straightforward. It doesn't really take all that much work. It's just pretty much log in, do your dailies to win, pretty much. I guess you can consider it pay to win-ish when you at the... Well, eh. can't really say it's pay to win-ish, in my own personal opinion. Because I've played the game for a while, and I've gotten to this point where I can destroy most people. And I've just been patient to actually receive a myth that I can actually like fight with. So let's just say it's more of a patience thing for like dailies and all that. It's more of like, yeah, let's just say it's work hard to win. But from my own personal opinion, I don't think it's pay to win. Considering I have never spent money in this game. Uh, the palace is pretty much story content. And story content gives you extra rewards as well. Uh, if I remember correctly, it gave you a few... Yeah, it did. It gave you a few diamonds. So, stories was definitely good to do back then. Alright, so Strategy Lab is pretty much collecting the Skull Kings and doing all of their quests. So, once you do their quest, they have this little finished icon. So basically what you're doing is maxing them out, getting them to six star, doing all their quests, and then you just pretty much have them at that point. Once you get them to level 120, which is pretty much six star, you get them, you get their uh, final quests and that's it. You're just pretty much done. Then you get them added on to a bonus here. Then you get to choose between these and it, it goes down the road considering that they're still, I guess, adding more characters. I don't think you'll get the final one considering there's still 19 Soul Kings. So, yeah. As for the Challenge Tower, Challenge Tower does have like different elements. Right here is light. This one is dark. This one's fire water and leaf so go with whatever like advantage your team has and just do that tower the most then you can switch on to the, uh, some other ones and the special dungeon is pretty much the daily dungeons where you can get material to evolve your characters now it isn't like oh i need this to evolve i need this to evolve it's more of like let's say uh, what is the example I can use? Oh, I can use this as an example. It's more of like, oh, I got three stars here. I just need other three stars to evolve him. That's just pretty much it. There's nothing, like, really special about it. So pretty much explaining this even further, these uh, evolution uh, coups, these nature coups, can only go to nature units. So let's say I had this guy, and I wanted to evolve him, like, way quicker. Uh, I would use one of these guys, or probably a normal four-star unit. Pretty much what they are. I'm pretty sure you'll learn it. Yeah, it's, very, see, it's pretty much explaining itself there. Alright, thank god I didn't have to go into more detail. <laughs> Alright, next is exploration. Exploration is just pretty much collecting fragments for whichever Soul King you want to like craft and put together at like the summoning stone which is pretty much right here then you go with the summon then you would have the fragments you collected you could just put them all together but that area 
the exploration, uh, you can only explore up to the three stars. The four stars and five star Soul Kings have been have to be required a different way. That could be like ticket or buy fragments from the um, from the hero hall when you summon. Let's go ahead and summon. Well, nah, I was about to say let's summon, but I forgot that you need at least 2,000 to 10 summon. And diamonds are pretty easy to earn in this game, so don't worry about that too much. Now, material is pretty much just to uh, promote your character, make them a little bit stronger. That's why you guys see the different color stars, like there's orange and purple, and then there's crystal. Or diamond, whichever one you want to call it. Diamond is pretty much um, limit break, so you have to limit break them, and that requires a lot of six stars, I believe. Hold on. Yeah, you need another six star just to start getting into diamond. So that that's kind of a really annoying thing. But I'm pretty sure I could promote, right? Nope, I'm missing this apparently. Uh, where is that one? Pretty sure I can get that pretty easy. I'm not sure if I'm saving up for, like, a different character. Pretty sure I probably am. This character, most likely, because she can resurrect all allies. So, she's pretty powerful. So, I probably am saving up material for her. Promotions also unlock passives. And you can actually give others your passives by clicking here and picking whoever has the best passive you can actually put in. The game pretty much explains itself as it goes. Uh, you guys can try out the game yourselves, learn the game, and from that point on to then, I will see you guys next time. It was actually pretty fun revisiting the game. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually get back into it because it... Eh, they haven't released many characters since then, since I ever stopped like playing. So that actually throws me off a bit. I'll give them a little bit of time. I'll keep logging in to get my rewards for this. But as for now, I'm going to see you guys next time. Ta-da! Peace out.